wrestling and women peeling their clothes off. And no, it's not a family reunion. I am at Lucha Ballroom. <laughs> to go before I could be a wrestler. Probably takes about two years of training, and it's hard. Everything that you would get to your fifth year anniversary, did you think it would go this far? Oh no, we, we were only planning on doing one show, but it was just so amazing. We, we, we all had so much fun. The first one was like, oh, I guess we're gonna be doing this more. We try to up the bar every single time, so the Lucha talent's better because I've learned myself more about Lucha Libre. Have your parents ever seen you at work? Yeah, my mom actually has seen me do burlesque. And my mom turned to the other table and she was like, that's my daughter. How long did you practice the tassel twirling before you were like, I have nailed this? Uh, well, I saw other people doing it and I was like, oh, that looks really hard. And then I realized it's the easiest thing in the world to do. It's gravity. Fifi and Bibi Pubel, how long have you guys been wrestling as a team? Well, it's been five years. We started when the show started. Have your moves evolved? Definitely, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, we started with some punches and some slaps, and uh, I think if you watch us tonight, you'll see that things have gotten a little a little more interesting. Tonight I'll be blessing the festivities to ensure that everyone gets out of here safe and sound. One of the ways to get closer to God is actually to experience his libations. Uh, would you call yourself a master libator? I actually would call myself a master lib. But how do you guys feel about the Euro right now? <laughs> We're here with Dirty Sanchez's Merkin, um, and it might be the largest pubic wig the world has ever seen. Verticulo is a mystery. Have you ever considered electrolysis? We're here backstage in the basement of the Mayan with the co-founder of Lucha Revoom, Rita Dalbert. Is there anything you do ahead of time that get you into the zone where you're like, I'm about to take all of this off to a bunch of screamy people? What do you, you don't do anything, and I wish there was something. But the first time I did it, I thought it would be scary. And then I went out there, and the moment comes where you reveal your breasts. And it was so non-eventful. It was so much less horrible than you thought it would be. At the end of the night, how do you decompress? How do you get the glue off your nipples? What do you have to do to get back into reality? You know what? I don't. I go to bed with my makeup on. I take my lashes off and sometimes my hair. From Measurements Los Angeles, this is events editor Allie Ward signing off and going home to practice my headlocks and my drop kicks and tassel twirls. Uh.